and this will pass. Uh, this will pass through, and uh, we're going to be uh, even stronger for it. We've learned a lot. Uh, tremendous amount has been uh, learned. I want to thank uh, Deborah Burks, and I want to ask her maybe to come up and say a few words as to what's happening, Dr. Oh, so it's nothing. I don't think we're going to be quarantined. Ooh, thank the Lord. Lord. Then you can't try to do all that. Yeah, yeah. Locked in the house, go find food. Someone obsolete. But it's certain obsolete. Yeah. 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 Yeah built on the existing flu surveillance system. Thanks. That surveillance system was then converted <laughs> to diagnostic systems. But last Tuesday, seeing the spread of the virus around the globe, the president realized that our current approach to testing was inadequate to meet the, meet the needs of the American public. He asked for an entire overhaul of the testing approach. He immediately called the private sector laboratories to the White House, as noted, and charged them with developing a high-throughput quality platform that can meet the needs of the American public. We are grateful to LabCorp and Quest for taking up the charge immediately after the meeting and within 17 hours, 72 hours bringing additional testing access, particularly to the operating areas of Washington State and California and now across the country. We are also very grateful to the universities and large hospital systems that took up the charge to develop their own quality tests, made available by new, new FDA guidance. This has resulted in expanded... All right, I'm about to get off live. California, Washington, Colorado. Hold on, I'm watching it over there. I'm real. What are they talking about? ...that have been made available through these high I ain't got it over there. What are they talking about? Following the meeting last week, major commercial laboratory equipment and diagnostic companies took immediate action to adopt and develop new testing systems. Last night, the initial company, Roche, received FDA, FDA approval, moving from request to development to approval in record time. This innovative approach centered fully on unleashing the power of the private sector, focusing on providing convenient testing to hundreds of thousands of Americans within short turnaround times. In less than Are you weeks, talking about we have developed a solution that we believe will meet the future needs, testing needs of Americans. I understand how difficult this has been. I was part of the HIV AIDS response in the 80s. We knew from, dying, from first finding cases in 1981, it took us to almost 1985 to have a test. It took us another 11 years. They're just talking about testing. testing. I'm about to go back. It is like of upstairs. This that we were able to mobilize <laughs> and bring those individuals that were key to the right. love you to this response. I love you too when you come home, babe. I understand that a lot of this ah, like in two hours. over the last couple of weeks was invisible come on, back home, so I can American people. But this intensity has not only resulted in innovative Stop showing the cameras so somebody know where you at. But it's automated high-frequency okay. system bringing the availability of these quality coronavirus